Hey guys, it's Jessica and I just ate a ton of pita chips and hum hummus. I feel like it's like all in my teeth. Anyway, today is my everyday makeup drawer for June. And thank you to you guys who tweeted me and reminded me, hey, it's time to do an everyday makeup for June. I really appreciate it because I tend to forget these, but I love doing these videos. So today I'm gonna share with you guys what is in that drawer and that drawer right behind me. These are products that either are brand new to me so I'm wanting to try out, or they're just favorites that I use every day. This is kind of where I keep all the stuff I'm using for the month, except really I'm always pulling out of my drawers as well because I just like playing with makeup, but it's kind of a collection of products that I want to be able to have really close at hand for this month. If you enjoy this style of video, I hope that you will subscribe while you are here. I do lots of drugstore and high-end videos all of the time. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is my left drawer here. On this side, I have my Milani eyeshadow primer. I just feel like it was getting lost in my collection and I love it so much, so I wanted to Make sure that I'm using that this month. I have my NYX Dose of Dew Face Gloss, which I've been talking about a lot recently. It's beautiful, just glossy look to it, and I just love this, and it's really inexpensive. And then my Glossier Little Cloud Paint Blush. I have it in the shade Dusk. I wanna get one that's maybe a little more pink. That one's really peach. It's pretty, but I wanna try another one. Um, I have not even tried this. This is the number seven Airbrush Away Primer. I'm dying to try. Um, my Healthy Elixir CoverGirl Foundation. I'm wearing 710 and it's a perfect shade match for me. So, really liking this. A review is coming if it's not up already. If it is, I will link it below. Um, this is something new to me from CoverGirl. It's their Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder and it's got really pretty packaging and it comes with, of course, like a little puff, but it's just kind of a powder, but the idea is that it has a little bit more radiance than normal. I've only used it like once or twice. I feel like it still looks pretty powdery, but regardless, I'm still trying it out because I, I don't know. I feel like I'm wanting CoverGirl to have some really great products come out. Like I was really impressed with that. So I'm gonna keep trying it. This powder, however, I'm trying to figure this one out. It's from It Cosmetics. It's their Bye Bye Pores Illumination. It's a new product. It's in Radiant Translucent. So it comes with a little sponge. And so it's like a translucent powder, supposedly except for it's insanely radiant. So I'm not sure like, am I supposed to use it as a highlighter? But it says it's like to get rid of pores, I don't know. So I guess it's a highlighter. I tried it all over my face and laughed because it looked crazy. So I just need to use it as a highlighter. Maybe it's just a more like subtle one. So I'll have to let you guys know. Okay, these are rolling all over the place. So I have two highlighters, my Pure Afterglow that my friend Laura got me hooked on. It's like the prettiest highlighter ever. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Um, then I got the J-Cat You Glow Girl in Crystal Sand. I recently got this and I wanted to make sure, wow, that I was using it. That one is crazy, I love it. So those two are in there. So I also have my Bare Minerals, just regular foundation. Honestly, I just forgot I even owned this and it's not that old so I wanna make sure I'm using it. I think it might be a little bit yellow for me but I always like when I'm wearing this how my skin looks. So I wanted to use that some more. This is my new little baby I got from Influencer recently. No, from Octoly actually. It's a Dior Nude Air Luminizer and it's in the shade three. This highlight is unlike any highlight I've ever owned because it does have this shimmer that's like different than anything else. So I'm, I filmed a video today about it, and if it's up again, I'll link it below. Basically an is it worth it video. But I'm definitely using that this month. And I've got my Glossier Soothing Face Mist Rose Water Spray. This stuff is beautiful smelling. It smells like roses, and it just feels really good on the face. So I've been using that like in the afternoons, just like to spritz it on my face. Then the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer I've been using. I really like this stuff. It sinks into the skin really, really quickly, which is nice so you can actually put it on under makeup and you don't have to wait a long time for it to kind of sink in. I also have my number seven loose setting powder, just because again, I felt like it was getting lost in my collection. I wanted to make sure I was using it. It's a really good drugstore loose powder. I have a little headband back there. I have my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which I love, my Bobbi Brown Corrector that I love for dark circles on your under eye. It blends in so beautifully. My Anastasia Brow Wiz, my L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Black is Black. This is another one I, I just found in my collection the other day and I'm like, oh yeah, it's from Juice Beauty. It's this gorgeously emollient cream blush and it blends so well into the skin, so I definitely wanna give that a try. 
if you've seen my Dollar Tree get ready with me, I use this blush. It's actually really good. It's from LA Colors. It is glittery. There's no getting around that, but it's a really pretty color. It's in Peach Rose. Um, and then this is the brush that came with that Dior highlighter. So that is that drawer. Okay, so my right drawer is filled with a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of this is repeated from last time. This is my cosmetic superhero mascara. I love e.l.f. makeup remover pen. Um, I brought this one back in, my Milani Stay Put Black Liner. It's amazing. It's waterproof. This is the Milani Brow Gel. It's just clear. Really, really good as well. A new favorite is this NYX Epic Ink Liner. It is so, it's the best drugstore liquid liner I've ever found. Um, I've got my Pixi Eye Bright Liner that I like in my lower waterline, the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara. Glossier Boy Brow, the more I'm trying, the more I'm loving. So if you haven't seen my Glossier video about it, showing how it works, um, I, I will link it below. And then the Maybelline Brow Precise little micro pencil I've gotten here as well. Then I bought this recently and I felt like I hadn't been using it. It's the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. So I wanted to pull that out to make sure that I'm using it. It's a beautiful primer, it really is. Now, do I think it's worth the high, high price? Uh, that, I don't know. I'll have to get back with you. I don't know that it is, but I do like it. The Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in Light. I love for when I'm in a rush. My Caudalie. Vino Perfect Serum. It's so beautiful and radiant. I always use it during the day in the morning. This is this Christian Dior one I got from Octoly as well. It's in 772. This is the most comfortable matte I've ever, ever, ever worn. It just glides on, but it feels moisturizing and it actually stays in place and you can like rub your lips together and it just looks better. Like it really is crazy, but it's their classic matte formula. Then my Shea Moisture Lip Balm, it's the Water Mint and Ginger one. This Hourglass one, it's in the shade Influencer. I just like these, but I keep forgetting about them, and this shade is so pretty. So I wanted to put that in this for the month. My Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream, I'm just trying to use up. It's good, but I don't think I'll repurchase it. I've got my e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser back there, my <laughs> cheap dupe for the uh, color switch. I have both, but I've just been using this one from Swispers. You can find it on an end cap in Walmart. Just keep your eyes peeled. Just to switch the colors off of your brush without using like spray. Um, palettes I've got back here. This is the Milani palette in Earthy Elements, and it's just got beautiful shades, doesn't it? Let me swatch some of this for you. I thought these colors together were so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, isn't that ridiculous for drugstore? I love it. But then I also have my NYX Perfect Filter, which I love, I've talked about in some videos. This recently came in the mail, it's the Itsy and Love for Lacquer, or Jess. Um, it's their collab, so it's a bunch of highlighters and a beautiful blush, and I was so impressed with the quality of these. And I'm loving, I had the Itsy one from Michelle from Ready Set Glamour, who I missed so much here on YouTube. And the shadows were really, really pigmented and it had a gold case. I like this color case even more. Um, and then the blush, oh my gosh. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh my gosh, I could stare at it all day. So super excited about that, can't wait to use. And then I've got some Wet n Wild little wipes I got from the Dollar Tree. What else, what else, what else? Oh, over here, I've got a couple sponges. This one I used today. It's my um, Flower Beauty one that's amazing. This It Heavenly Skin thing, which clearly I need to clean, actually really makes applying blush really seamless and really beautiful. Um, I've got a mirror, a Tweezerman curlers, uh, sharpeners, little beauty blenders. I need to clean all these. Little hair ties, just little odds and ends that you might need, but you kind of want to wrangle together. And that is everything in this drawer. If you enjoyed this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you want to watch some of my past everyday makeup drawer videos, I will put my playlist below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.